Hey guys, what's up? Roger here. All right, I really haven't decided where I'm gonna put this camera. Like I was over there at the bar, seemed to be okay. Um, here it's a little more comfortable. Uh, if you've ever been in the shop, I'm sitting at a table, just right on the left side of the shop. Uh, it's a little more comfortable position. You know, I'm sitting down. I am looking into getting a, a new camera. Uh, right now I'm just using the iPhone 6 Plus uh, front-facing camera. It works. Obviously not the best in the world, so I'm looking at that. Because um, I can really use um, a decent camera for like product shots and, and on top of doing this. <clears throat> Let's get breakfast. All right, so uh, last time we did a video, I was talking about the 30 millimeter dump tank, which I am currently using still, as you can see. And it has been, it has been literally like the most trouble free tank that I've, I've been dealing with. Um, so let's take a look at the deck. And again, it's 30 millimeters, uh, rather large. And I've decided, you know, I was talking about um, the other night, we are talking about doing videos and, and doing uppy close kind of things. And I think just at this point, um, you know, I'm shooting these videos before the shop opens in the morning. And I just don't really don't have time to do the up close right now. Maybe if we, if I find some more time, we'll start doing that kind of thing. But for now, I'm just going to show you uh, the 30 millimeter dump tank has a swing door much like the TF V8 and V4 now you can this chimney and barrel are all one piece and that would seem like it could be a pain in the ass but it's actually kind of nice because then you can just screw the bottom off of the tank remove the deck and then you still have your liquid now this isn't really secure in there if you were to bump this glass it would come off and your juice would pour everywhere but just for the sake of re-wicking or rebuilding, you can have a you know tank full of liquid and just set it down there. As long as you don't disturb the glass, you're fine. Now, as you can see from the deck, it is huge, huge, huge. Nice um, juice ports uh, for wicking. Now, tip here: um, these holes seem to hold. The perfect amount of cotton if I'm building on three and a half. So if I'm building uh, like fused Clapton's or just regular round wire build on three and a half millimeters and I'm getting the cotton through to where it's kind of, you know, it's tight, not too tight, but it's tight. Uh, that seems to be perfect for these holes. Just grab the tips, not the, you're not stuffing the cotton down in there. Uh, as you can see the, the wicking ports, I don't, you can't see my cotton through these ports. Let me see if I can hold that up there. You can see the port there. You cannot see my cotton through those ports. So I've just got it tucked just into these holes. That's it, not through. And it works splendidly. Then you just screw it back together. You've got a ton, a literal shit ton of airflow on this tank. And then with the tank, obviously, you get some spares, you'll get a spare glass, you get some spare O-rings, and then you get a, um, like a replacement 510 pin, seems like an insulator, a screwdriver, a couple set screws, just in case you strip one out, and a new O-ring. I will say that the, I don't know, really know if I'm a fan of the Phillips heads. Eh. I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of the Phillips. It has a Phillips head, and I'm really got pushing onto it to get it tight. I don't know if I like that. I've re I'm a grub screw kind of guy. I kind of like grub screws, but some people don't. So if you're a grub screw fan, you may look for you know replacements that are grub screws. If you like a Phillips head, you're in luck because it comes with them. Running the dump tank at 150 watts. Oop, let me see. There we go. 150 watts. 
um, got more than enough air for 150 watts, 160, 170, still ton of air. Um, after that, it's kind of to get, it gets a little tight, but still, I mean, obviously the faster you inhale, cooler the vape's gonna be, so no huge deal. But I am running in this right now, uh, Slam Cake Vapes, Slam Cake, which is, boom, forgot to get my uh, menu. It is a white cake batter, and I detect a little bit of cherry on the end. I'm not really sure if the flavor description actually says cherry or not, but I detect a little bit of cherry just on the finish. Good stuff. 19 for a 30 mil. Um, PGVG ratio, I believe, is... For some reason, I was thinking this one was like 60-40. Like, it, maybe it was a little bit thinner than most. It may be more than that. Um, <clears throat> but very good flavor. If you're about flavor, you like cakes, uh, it's a good one. Not necessarily the cloudiest uh, liquid I've ever had, I don't think. But still good. Real good. like it okay what else are we want to talk about we want to talk about the Cleto 120 I got one of those uh, here on the uh, DNA 200 and I'm running it currently at 120 but believe it or not it, it just has more air than 120 it, it literally has more air than 120 like I immediately like the coil rating is 120 it says right on 120 but it is obvious the first time you hit it even at 120 that it can it clearly does more like here's a 130 no problem at all with 130 I'm gonna go ahead and run it up to 140 now this is this coil is getting old um, this is two days of a very very thick liquid that we have I've got it I've got it in the select pump right now but it is um, blacksmith forge which is a uh, like a berry cereal flavor and I'm not really into cereals but I really like this one um, and it's very thick like I don't know what this PGVG ratio is but it is super super thick so excessive wattage 140 super thick e-liquid still works perfect so Cleto 120 actually decent a little loud do you hear that that's a little loud um, but it, it doesn't even you can't vape this I really feel like you can't vape this at 50 watts or 60 watts you want to get the regular Cleto if you want to vape at like 50, 60, you know, watts. This thing, minimum 100, and you're cutting the you're cutting the airflow down. Like to run it wide open, you really got to push it because it just has a shit, a little shit ton of air. But a top fill tank, um, so much like the regular Cleto, uh, really no difference there. If you over tighten the cap you're going to end up unscrewing the whole top because the cap does not want to come off independently. So you see I've, I've over tightened the cap. So now instead of just the cap, the fill cap coming off, the whole top has come off and then you've got to try to separate them. So when you put this on just the fill cap, <clears throat> you don't have to put it on super tight because if you do, you're just going to end up taking the whole top off when you try to refill it. So there it is, it's got a decent sized fill hole. Try to show you that without spilling shit everywhere. Decent sized fill hole. Uh, fairly easy to use as far as the cap goes, but as soon as it gives you any kind of resistance, stop. Because it'll get stuck on there and you'll have to take the whole top off and then separate the two in order to get it off. But again, coil is still going 140 with an extremely thick e-liquid um, 
So I am really, really impressed for the price point. Um, these are excellent, excellent little tanks. Very, very nice, very nice. So Blacksmith Forged, which I don't have in its original bottle. I've got it in the slut pump. Um, goes for $15 for a 30 mil, which is an excellent price. And then the 120s are like 45 bucks. Uh, and we keep, you can see them right there. Right there. 120s. Excellent, excellent juice. Definitely need to try that. If you've never tried Forge before, you definitely need to check out Forge. It is awesome. Now, um, another thing I wanted to mention, I haven't got to try yet. Uh, we're definitely gonna be trying very soon Wedding Crasher. We just got it in from Sick Boy. Now, Wedding Crasher is like a collaboration between Giant Vapes and Sick Boy. Um, <clears throat> so when you see the, the bottle, you're going to see the S for Sick Boy and then the little Giant Vapes head. Um, collaboration between the two. And uh, thus far, customer uh, reaction is very good on it. So apparently the flavor is very good. It does change depending on the wattage. I did try it when we first got it. And uh, higher wattage, it becomes very much more creamy than carrot. And then it seems like a lower wattage, like 50, 60 watts, the carrot really comes in. So it kind of depends on how you vape is how what you're going to get from that particular liquid. But uh, we're definitely going to check that out a little closer in the next video for sure. That and Irreverence, I haven't got a chance to get to Irreverence yet, which is selling awesome too. So apparently it is very good. So we'll definitely get to that one. Um, but that's all I've got for you today. Just show you a couple of things. The uh, Cleto, we're definitely going to keep track of it. And I'm going to keep going on this. We're going to see how many days. Honestly, I expected one day. I expected one day. With a super thick e-liquid running it, you know, at excessive wattage, I expected it to last me one day, if that. And it's lasted longer than that. So, we're going to see how long we get from this coil um, I'm hoping you know with the kind of the extreme nature that I'm putting it through if I get three days out of this thing then in normal vaping you're probably gonna get a good amount of life out of this coil it works just like the regular Cleto as far as the coil removal and all that uh, very familiar just much just larger you know it's 24 millimeters I believe um, it does come with a spare glass and it comes with an additional coil which is good because these coils are very hard to find right now. Um, and as of yet, I haven't found any. So we're gonna, still looking for the Cleto coil uh, so we can get those in stock. But right now, uh, they're tough to find. Still using the TFV8, but I don't really think like we need to even talk about the TFV8 anymore because the reality of it is they sell like hotcakes. People love the TFV8. They love the one coil. Like the, the V8T8 is the only coil anyone ever asks for. We don't even stock the other ones because no one gives a shit about those. They just want the, the, the T8V8. Um, so, definitely good pickup. The V8, if you're going to vape right around 160-ish, that's a really good tank for that. Um, if you want a rebuildable, and you want a massive amount of 10 mils, then definitely the dump tank. This is the 30 millimeter version. They also have a 40 millimeter version, which fits on nothing ever. Uh, but this one is very nice. The deck is plenty big enough, holds a ton of liquid, easy top fill, and is kind of ideally, in my mind, ideally built for three and a half internal diameter. Very, very nice. Very nice. The heat in that is just spot on. Just spot on. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you next video. And like I said, we'll have a couple more liquids we're going to take a look at. And I will remember for the next video to actually have the flavor descriptions available. But by all means, check out Slam Cake 19 for a 30 mil. Really good stuff. And then 
the uh, Forge. This is not the bottle it comes in. This is a select pump, but Forge by Blacksmith is excellent liquid too. 15 for a 30 mil. Excellent price. All right, guys. Have a good one.